Frustrated chants filled 162nd Street and 163rd Street in the Longwood section of the Bronx on Monday morning as essential security workers gathered to let their voices be heard regarding claims that Acacia Network hasn't provided adequate protection for workers during the pandemic. Still, to this day, people do not have proper screening going into the shelter to make sure that clients and workers are not bringing COVID inside to the congregate sites. Acacia Network is a nonprofit organization that offers shelter, education, and mental health services. But the security officers who work there say that the network hasn't provided proper safety measures, and they're worried about contracting COVID-19 and bringing it home. Sometimes I feel that I fear that that the pen may be affected, or the paper, or anything I'm handling may be affected with bacteria and this virus without me even knowing about it. We reached out to Acacia Network for comment regarding the work conditions, and we received an email statement, which reads in part, We have implemented and ensured compliance with proper health and safety guidelines in accordance with guidelines issued by city, state, and federal agencies, including screening procedures, the provision of hand sanitizer, gloves, and sufficient PPE at our facilities, and proper guidance on their use. Since Acacia Network began administering COVID-19 vaccinations to eligible individuals, including frontline workers at our primary care clinics, we have offered to vaccinate staff of our homeless shelters, including security guards. We take all concerns raised by employees seriously and promptly address them. Workers like Irving James say the precautions aren't enough. I'm worried about um, contracting COVID-19 to bring to my house, to my wife and to my family. That's my most concern. The rally comes on the anniversary of the first known case of COVID-19 in the city. Reporting for BronxNet, Darissa White.